Looky, looky at new features and new Outlook for Windows. Microsoft is allowing users to get familiar with the new Outlook desktop version by clicking on this button right here. For now, you do have the ability to revert to the classic version. However, the new Outlook has adopted many of the web version features, but one day this version will become their standard Outlook desktop, but Microsoft has not said when. So stay connected. Microsoft will continue to roll out more features. So let's proceed with this demo. Okay, so I, I am in the classic um, Outlook and let's go ahead and try the new Outlook by clicking on this button here. Let's hit switch. So I am in Adele's account and the new feature that they have added is pin an email to the top. So what this will do is doesn't matter what date order it is. I'm clicking on this January 29th. I pin it and it will go straight to the top. This is going to allow you to, you know, take action to an email because it's you don't have to go through, you know, a lot of emails to find it and you can easily unpin it. Now, when you do this, it does not create a task unlike when you flag a message. When you flag a message, it creates a task in your to-do. Notice how you have these quick actions um, icons listed here. Let me show you how you can identify what four custom actions you want. Click on the view tab, go to view settings, click on custom actions, and under quick actions, you can select the four that you use the most. Now, let's say for whatever reason, you didn't want the move to folder, but you want to click on archive. Notice that it will even show you what will appear in um, when it's live and go ahead and save it. Let's go back to the home page. The next thing they have added is the quick steps. Now you are familiar with this in the desktop. I do have the classic ribbon um, layout shown because you do have the ability to switch it to simplified when you are in the simplified ribbon it does not show the quick step I have already created this quick step if I run this quick step it's going to complete two actions it's going to give it a category as well as open up so I can reply to this meeting watch it in action notice how I immediately got my category and it opens up a new message. I don't have to do this manually. Um, another enhancement in the new Outlook is categories. You are familiar with, you know, assigning color. You can rename this if you like. Notice that this category has a title on it and it now appears in your Outlook so you can easily look at them. And another thing that you can do is you can add it to your favorites. So when I look at Adele's favorites, she already has a couple of the categories already here. I can search and choose that category and now it's in my favorite. So that's really cool. If you're finding this video helpful so far, hit the like button and stay connected by subscribing to my channel. I have a few more features I wanna show you. The rules are also different in the new Outlook version. If you click on the rules and let's just hit manage rules. When you add a new rule, you're going to actually see a more simplified um, layout. You give it a name and you select from your co different conditions. So if you want to say you're in the two line and what action that you want it to take, let's say you want to copy to a particular folder. So it's really they have really simplified the look and the feel when you create rules. Let me go ahead and cancel this. Another feature they have added is the snooze. So you can actually snooze an email. It will go to a folder and then when you're ready for it, it will reappear in your um, email inbox. You identify email you want to snooze. You choose the date. They give you some predefined ones, or if you want your own custom date, let's say you want this to reappear in your inbox on Friday the 21st, hit save, and it will be moved to a snooze folder. 
Now, you do have the ability to unsnooze an email at any given time. Um, just click on the email that you want, click on the snooze, and you have the unsnooze um, capabilities. So that's easy enough. Let's open up a new email. You can either click on the icon or hit Control N is the shortcut and select mail. A couple of things I want to show you here. One, you can easily schedule um, send, which is to land it to a different time. They do give you some predefined ones as well as you can create a custom one. So if you don't want your team members knowing that you're working late and you want it to go you know, out the next morning, you have the ability to do so. Looking in the ribbon, you do have scheduling poll av available that replace find time. Once you add a person name and click on scheduling poll, you get to be able to, you know, ask everyone, you know, what is the best date and time before you actually schedule a meeting? So this is a really neat feature. I want to talk to you about the editor. Some people may have a third party um, application like Grammarly to help them with their the tone of their message or um, with the grammar. You can make these changes um, into Outlook today. Um, it's a little bit more robust than what it has been um, previously. Really nice. You can go through and set your um, settings. Recently, they have added auto format options. And what that is, it allows you, you know, to have some, I call them symbol shortcuts to be able to either get automatic bullets or you can have the first with, the, you know, with the, the superscript on it. And once you have those applied, which they are on by default, you can easily um, disable them if you like. When I type in first, Make sure you hit that space bar to get the superscript. So that is a new feature in the new Outlook. The last feature I want to show you is the undo send, which allows you to undo, you know, sending a message within the 10 seconds. So let's send this message to Nestor. Notice down at the bottom, if I click on it, it will undo. It will open the email back up, allow me to make any changes to this email that I like. Now, go work your magic.